What do you think, Jack? Perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. This is perfect. I'm perfect. Since the 1984 oil discovery in New Guinea, we have sold the Butlias Hill tribesmen 12 of our S-24 Skywolf Super Pursuit fighters. At $21 million per unit, that's $252 million. This has started a local arms race between the Butlias and their local neighbors, the Tlatlalas. Now, the Tlatlalas also happen to be sitting on quite a large amount of oil. And the Tlatlalas now want to buy 20 of our new S-24 slash X-ray Ultra Pursuit Fighters for $480 million. What are the chances of a war between them? Oh, very good, sir. Our spare parts and replacement contracts could be very lucrative. Who trains their flight personnel? Well, as near as we can assess it, um, they don't actually fly the planes. They, they sort of roll them down hills, crashing them into each other. Personally, I think it's a shameful waste of incredible kill power. Make the deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Next. Mr. Chairman, we are a company on the move. I have two mega stars and a super promotional idea that can bring INC 500 million to $1 billion in gross revenues. That is not about white power, nor is it about black power. It is about green power, money, M-O-N-E-Y. We are talking about geometric progression. One, two, four, eight, 16. The numbers boggle the mind. So in conclusion, all we have to do is to get off the dime and put the show on the road. Thank you very much. Next. Arthur W. Harris, 969 Columbus Avenue, security guard, unemployed. Single unit, baby blue princess model, three months overdue on a balance of $188.64. Ah, uh, disconnect. Why does Mr. Holmes review individual phone bills? Street. He feels it keeps him in touch Parker. with the people. Employed. Wall unit, push button, black 25-foot flexicord, 10 weeks overdue. Not him again. 10 weeks overdue on a balance of $154.88. Disconnect. He does claim the check is in the mail, sir. We own the God. Damn mail service. I know what's in it and what's not, and his check is not in my mail. Disconnect. Next. We're all set to close Allenville, um, Friday. You expect any trouble down there? Nothing to speak of, um, TV cameras and a handful of the usual protesters. Maybe we ought to send somebody down there to tell our side of the story. Exactly what is our side of the Allenville story? We're losing money hand over fist. That's not true. No, but it's our side of the story. Lesson number 47, there are no truths, only stories. Just let me do the talking. I think there's something profoundly wrong with the world when a company like ours produces hair removal cream and nuclear warheads. No. Uh, 
out. You want to hit? No, thanks, sir. I'm getting a pretty good contact high as is. Uh, Sal? Sal, isn't that the Allenville exit we just passed? I think you're right, sir. Yeah, it said Allenville, you know? Uh, I have a plan, sir. I can go to the next exit and whip around. Uh, it'd be no problem, I think. Great. Uh, Sal, keep your eye on the road. Look, isn't this the Allenville exit coming up here again? Uh, Sal? Uh, uh, sir, sir, I think that was it again. Yeah, I think so, man. Because, you know, it just said Allen. I'd go back up, sir. Uh, no, 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 no. No, doctor. no I wouldn't. No, I'd go back up. So, no, it's a bad idea. No, it's cool. Just uh, sir, go ahead. Sir, I could, I could you eat right here. No, no, no. That's, no, that's okay, okay, Sal. Please. Uh, it's not, no, we're in, uh, we're only a half hour sure. late. There's no problem. Get the hell out of here. Jack, where are you going? Jack, what are you doing? Jack! Max, there's a very big turnout here for us today. Jack, get back in the car. Get back in the... Hold on, hold on. Sal. Yes, sir? Keep the motor running. Uh, I'm not going to do that, sir. Could heat up. Sal, do me a favor. Sir? Don't call me sir. These people are going to think I'm in charge. Call me Max. 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 No problem. Max. Are you from the Allenville office? Yes. No, no. Did you people off. expect this sort of reaction? It's um, amazing. Uh, actually, it's uh, we expected people to be upset, but we're not really anticipating any trouble. What I do? Well, well, you guys finally did it. Right. It's a company who cares about people, right? Most of these people will be on unemployment because there are no other jobs in town. And then when that fails, it's welfare for the, for the lucky ones who qualify. Is it true that this plant is still a viable operation and that INC is relocating it to Central America only because the labor is cheaper there? I think no. so. Is it also true that INC stands to gain more in, in tax write-offs if the plant fails than if it operates at a moderate profit? I, I think so. You think so? You'd think so. You're there to deny that shit. Jack. Doesn't INC have a moral responsibility to these workers to Jack. keep this plant and, and these jobs in the U.S.? Jack! Uh, moral responsibility? I... Well, Jack. Now, you haven't answered my question. Jesus Christ, it is, Jack. Does INC have a responsibility to keep this town working? Jack! Well, uh, in business school, we learned that the main goal of corporations is to maximize profits and survive. So, uh, they act in their own self-interest. He hasn't been well! Self-interest? What is that goddamn idiot talking about? What the goddamn son of a bitch say? You're related to Senator Jack Issel, is that right? Am I correct? No. Yes, I am. Son of a bitch. I'm his son. Lying goddamn bastard. Man, are you people crazy? I'm taking names. I'm the... Get out of here. Look what you're doing here. This is marked up. It's a new paint job. What's the matter with you? So INC has no responsibility to these people? Jack? INC operates purely on a profit motive. Jack? Pure self-interest, then. Absolutely. Thank you. You should kill the bastard that sent that moron out there. <laughs> 